If you're looking for cheap Ultimate Team coins, go check out IGSky.com. Links to that will be in the description below. Use the discount code ROSSI for a little bit 5% off. It's got a fully automated service. You get your coins instantly. What more can you ask for? Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here, and this is going to be episode number 52 of the Random Hybrid. For today's episode, we're going to be using Adrian of Leeds. Of course, if you don't know him, you probably do know him, actually, for his um, incredible kind of weird dive the other day. It was all around the internet, all over Twitter. Everyone was literally saying about it. It was ridiculous and stuff. It was actually a, tack a bad foul, and um, he reacted very funny. He kind of got, like, hacked down, and then he... Went down, he got back up slightly and then jumped to the floor again in unique fashion. But that's how you might know him. But I know him as a little Brazilian talent that plays for my team, Leeds United. So, he's going to be in this episode today. So, I have said that I was going to use him for a while. I was kind of hoping that Leeds were going to get an inform sometime soon. But their recent performances have been very hit and miss. And it doesn't look like they're going to get one. Antonucci looks like a most likely. But, I don't know, I just don't know if they are going to. So, I'm going to use Adrian. I'm going to use him as well. With an attribute card on him. There's been a lot of videos recently around the community. The way the first one I saw, the, the the YouTuber which I know who did these kind of videos was Ezekiel Gaming HD, Jack, a good friend of mine, and um, he did like a 99 rated Pele and then all sorts like that. And it, now everybody's doing videos on it. And I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and I'd chuck an attribute card on Adrian just so he performs a lot better in game. And um, his stats actually mount up to an 84 rated player now instead of the 70 rated which he should be. So that's awesome. He's going to be an 84 rated car. He's going to be up there with the likes of like Oscar and people like that, so hopefully he performs as good as them. But we're going to have a page number 5, and I'm going to pick my own player for this episode, so we can get a decent hybrid around my main man, Adrian. So here we go, page 5, and we're going to get players on the lines of... Wow! Okay, I could have gone a lot better, couldn't it? Because that's a bad page. We have got Baby Jeff, though. Baby Jeff! And that always tickles my balls. Baby Jeff is a very good player. We've also got Ryan Donk, who is a fabulous player on this game. But Baby Jeff, is it too much to turn down? Little baby Jeff. Yeah, we're going to go for baby Jeff. Jefferson Montero. Or actually, this guy looks pretty darn good. Holy shit, he looks very good. And I may have just changed my option. May have just changed my option indeed. Paladino, good player. Oh, yeah, we're going to go for him. I think he... Is he a preset cam? I don't know, but we're going to go for him. I'm going to give him a try. Paladino. He used to be a very good player, actually. He used to be a lot better rated than he is now. And um, hopefully, he's a good talent still. So, let's have a look at page five on this one. Hopefully, we can get somebody equally as good to go with him. So, we've got the likes of... We have got... Cleverly. Lol. We've got... Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. We've got Wellington Silva, the five-star skilling Brazilian. We've also got Asaidi there, who's also a five-star skiller. We've got this guy right here, who looks weird. We've got a Mexican, and um, we've got Richie Delate. So, and of course, cleverly. We're going to go for Wellington Silva. I want that five-star skills in this team, so we're going to chuck him in there, and we're going to go for him. So let's have a look at the player we've got in my club, which is, of course... The main man, Adrian. There he is. He's looking fantastic. I'm going to look for Paladino. I have no idea what his default position is. So I think it's like Pal... That's him, I'm pretty sure. He is a default centre forward. Okay, that makes more sense. And then, of course, we've got Wellington Silver. So um, hopefully this is going to be a very nice team. So let's type in his name and um, go from there. There's a lot of people called Silver. I don't think he's actually even going to come up. Oh, he just comes up at the bottom there. Bollocks! Got to go all the way around. Um, there he is. Okay. So we'll chuck him in there as a concept player as well. And we'll pick a formation which is good for us. So, what formation do we want? We want a... Just have a quick think. Four four two. Hmm. Oh, actually, yes, yes. Or even a four one two one two. Four one two one two. Where is it? That one. Oh yes, please. Yes, please. Right, him there. Wellington Silver there. Paladino as a striker up there, and then. And then we're going to have a lead striker, the guy I was talking about who I wanted to get an inform, Mekko and Danucci, slapped over here. First owner on that absolute beaut of a man. It's so weird because 
his face on card there, you can tell it's him, but it doesn't really look like the Antonucci we all know and love, because he's got a big ass beard, and he looks so cool with that beard, he's also got some hair as well, but there he doesn't really seem to be rocking much, <laughs> it's definitely him though, and these are actually linked with another Italian striker called uh, Pavoletti, and if they get him as well with them two up front, wow, that'll be a very nice strike force indeed, but that works out very nicely, um, then we need a Serie A, either Palmer left mid, or a left mid from um, Italy, basically. So Serie A, Italian left mids, is there any? We want a silver one if we can. A silver episode is what we're kind of hoping for. De Kegli, is that, oh, he's in form. Interesting. Interesting. De Kegli is in form by looks of it, because there's one there and one there. 72 rate, a lot better better for it. Um, so that's an option. He looks like a decent player. Is there any left wingers there we can maybe convert? Um... No one really amazing. So let's have a look who Palmer have got on the left-hand side. So we can kind of maybe breach out into another nationality or if I even got a left winger. If not, then I'm probably thinking of De Kegli. Oh, De Kegli is their left winger. Okay. That's even better because he gets an ultimate chem link. So, um, you look at, oh, hell yeah. We're going to go for him then. He's a very kind of like defensive winger, I think, because he's normally a left-back on most games. Obviously, he's playing, been playing left mid for his team at the moment. He's got two star skills, two star weak foot, so not ideal, but he's got some very nice stats on card, and he's an inform, so we can't complain at all. And it's an old chemistry link, which means he only needs a half link somewhere to be happy. So, other, on the other hand, Adrian needs a strong link. Wellington Silver kind of needs a half link. So what we want to do is have a championship Brazilian CDM. And there is one. And he plays for Watford, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there he is. He's called that guy right there. Uh, he's got some okay stats for a CDM, so that is exactly what we want him for. So that's exactly what we're going to have him for. And he gets that strong link with Adrian. Now we just need a player from um, Almeria as a right back. And hopefully they've got a silver one. If not, then we may have to change something up. Uh, unless it's a Brazilian... Oh, of course there is. There's Cicinho and there's Miguel there as well. We're going to go for Cicinho. Oh, that... Uh, he's a... Br uh. I kind of want to get away from Brazilians if I can. I can't really. Yeah, let's try it. Where's Almeria? Oh, it's them, isn't it? UD Almeria. Have you got a, have you got a right back, buddies? Unbelievably, they have that guy. He's Brazilian. Um, everyone's Brazilian. My God. How many Brazilians have we actually got? One, two, three. It'd only be four. It'd only be four. Um, that isn't too many. So we are going to actually go for Cicinho. And the centre-backs, we're just going to have from the Championship. And we're going to have... Let's see what Silver's Championship centre-backs there are. But, oh, Basong. Smith, is Smith an inform? I think Smith's an inform, you know. I'm not 100% confident he is, actually. Uh, Bellucci. We may have to use Bellucci for shits and gigs. Smith definitely is an inform. So we're going to use Smith. Because informs are where it is at. He's an Ipswich inform. Um, is there a decent Watford defender? I want to search my club. Basong. Holy titties. Um, right. You don't have to be derby. Um, one, two, three, four. We may not be able to have Smith, actually, unfortunately. Um, there's going to be so many championship players if I do that. That's the only problem. If Watford got a good centre-back, because that would really help us out. Go on, Watford. Have somebody. Have somebody, Watford. Who have you got? You have got... Lloyd Doyley. Um... Lloyd freaking Doyley. What I can do, just thinking about it, if I had that ultimate chem right back with with a thing with Jiggy Buddha, we could then what's he called? That guy right there. That's an ultimate chem, which means he doesn't need a half link with there. So we can have a Leeds CDM, and um, then that would give good link to. English centre-backs, hopefully. Where's Leeds? There's Leeds. So, CDMs. We've got um, Lewis Cook, who's a bronze. But I kind of want to keep it silver if I can. So, we've got a choice of Casper Sloth. Maybe not as a CDM. Though. Rudy Austin. Jamaican me crazy. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. 
Oh no, he'd need some more leaven. He'd need way more leaven than that. He would need another strong link somewhere. Lloyd Doily. <laughs> um. Oh, Italian. Italian. Maybe Belushi in CDM. 70 old physical on him. Packed him, nice. He links with the Sigli. And uh, he's Brazilian. Uh, ugh, he's not Brazilian, he's Italian. Send Opus Alto Italian um, centre backs over here. Or we could go for Championship again. Or Italian Championship in Balucci. Would give him very good chem. Um, oh, it's difficult to, to understand where we need to go. But we're all, all right up there. Everybody's happy. We just kind of need chem with Balucci. Uh, he needs. So he's got Strong Link, Half Link, Dead Link. He needs another strong link and another half link. Or two half links. That is your two options just there. So. Balucci or Cooper. Um, if I had Cooper in there. Oh my god, my Cooper's got a stat card on him. I didn't even know. I didn't even know, I promise you. He's first owner as well. Damn, that's some nice stats. <laughs> then. If I had a Scottish centre back with a perfect chem goalkeeper, is that is that out is that a thing? Is that a thing? Scotland, where are you? SC, isn't it? I don't know why I went down. There we go. Scotland, silver centre backs. What have you got? You have got this guy who plays at Aberdeen. It doesn't look too bad at all. Apart from that, there's actually a couple of championship ones, which is kind of annoying because that's where I want to come away from. Um, let's have a look if these have got a goalkeeper. What's the bet in Aberdeen? Do not have a goalkeeper. Who is Scottish? What is the betting? Let's have a look. SPL, we want the Premier League. We want Guabardin. And they want to have a Scottish goalkeeper, and they do, and it's Langfield. And um, that is a poor. Oh, that's an option. That is an option. I might do that, actually. I'm going to. I'm going to. I am going to. Holy tit balls. And then the left back could either be a. It's going to be a Serie A left back when they go for. And then what leagues have we got in here? We'd have the SPL, we'd have the Prem, we'd have Leeds, <laughs> and we'd actually have four Leeds players. That's fine by me, I've not got a problem with that. The SPL, uh, the BBVA, the Championship, and the Italian League. So, the left back we want is going to be a Serie A Scottish left back. Nah, Serie A Italian left back. And what have you got for me? Who are you going to give me? You have got... Oh, there is actually, actually an inform, isn't there? I oh, know he's Brazilian. No, he's Brazilian, the guy I'm thinking of. He plays for, like, Cagliari. Um, so that's not an option. Uh, Balls of Sweaty is there. We've also got Pascual. Um, let me just think of a minute. Um, I go with Balls of Sweaty. I might go with Balls of Sweaty. This guy right here, Balzaretti. Um, or this guy. Oh, there's more. There's more. 81 pace on this guy. Is he. Nah, we'll go for Balzaretti. He's a standard left back. He does the job. He's a non shiny? God damn it. I didn't know he's a non shiny. But um, apparently, I've got him from a pack. I have. But that's cool. We'll go for Balzaretti. And that is going to be our team, guys. So we're going to go buy all these players now. It's a. It's a different team to what we would normally have, but hopefully a very unique and kind of team which is going to do us some damage. I apologise about the card on Cooper, but not a lot I can do about that now, because obviously I've put that on him in the past for another game and never used him. So that's always cool, but the one on Adrian is, is there to see how well he performs with that card on him. So I'm going to buy all these players now, and hopefully the team will play quite well, and I'll run you through it in two seconds. Let's go buy them. Boom! Okay, we are back, and look at this team. Holy shit, there's so many non chinese in here, which I didn't really intend to do. It was just the way it always pans out. For some reason, whenever I put a concept player in there, they turn out to be non chinese Like, I thought the right back would be a shiny, and I also thought that the goalkeeper would be a shiny, but he wasn't. And uh, he actually cost me 1.9k, because he's getting price locked or there's something about him, which I don't know, which might be amazing. Who knows? But there's an inform in here. There's actually only three shinies. If you don't count the inform as a shiny and count as an inform, that says four. He cost me 17k, so he's probably not going to be great. But he's there for chemistry reasons and just because we want him to be there. Different sort of team to what I'd normally make. But very much looking forward to use it. Finally got round to using some Leeds players, which is always something I wanted to do. And um, yeah, so we're going to go into a game with this team, see how it performs. Uh, I want you guys obviously in the 
comment section below to make your own teams around the three players we had to use. The three players we had to use, if you've forgotten, were, of course, Wellington Silva, Adrian, and that striker on the left there, Paolo Dino, or something long. I can't remember his name, what his name is now. What, it, what his name is now. Uh, he's up there, Vanta Nucci. I can't wait to use that strike force. Hopefully it performs well. I'll catch you when we've got the opponents. I'll see you then. Okay, guys, so we found ourselves an opponent. That's a strange team. He's got a bronze team. And they're quite low-rated players. I mean, there's a 53 in there. A 50, I think that's um, Johnny Gordon, actually a football manager legend from the uh, from the past. He's to buy more time. But we're going to go into this game. Hopefully, we can get the win. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Stay now, baby, if you've got to go away. Don't think I can't take the pen. What are you thinking, Adrian? Bad decision making. Could lead to a horrible goal here if we're not too careful. And it does. And we've been punished for some horrible play. And we're 1-0 down in the 45th minute. Two guys got a bronze team. Wow. Holy shit. Not a good time to be alive right now. Elliot Lee has put him 1-0 in the lead. And we're not even looking like goal scoring. Okay, so that is half time. And we're doing really poor here. We need something to happen second half. Because it's not even looking like scoring. And that is absolutely... Oh, it's just a joke, really. And we're going to have to up our game. But hopefully, we can do that second half, score some goals, and have an all-round good time. So let's do this. This goalie is taking this free kick. Are you joking? If we can get the ball here. Just punt it forward, Adrian. Has that lobbed the goalkeeper? It possibly has. Is that going to end up in the back of the net? It is! And Adrian has done it from range. Poor decision to take a free kick with his goalkeeper from there. And Adrian has managed to score from way out. I think it's in his own half. Better than Beckham. Look at that from Adrian. Way over the goalkeeper. He's had a horrible time there. And we will take that gift because we needed a goal and a little bit of momentum. Hopefully that proves to be the case. Game on! Don't you dare run up the other end of the score. It's gone himself to Johnny Gordon. And Johnny Gordon's running out my defenders. We can't have this. We got in a beautiful nice tackle. But then the pass was off. The pass was heavily off. And then we've got the ball back. It's a terrible passing game, this one. Paladino's nicked in. Some great footwork. Feeds Antonucci. Big moment in the game. Antonucci! Off the post. Unbelievable. Looks like he's brought on Joe Hart as well. I didn't even notice that one. Holy shit. How unlucky can you get? Right off the bloody that post. That is the end of the game. We're going to go to extra time with this. He's brought on some subs. It's becoming very, very difficult to break this guy down. I was wondering why he had such a low-rated team coming off against mine. Uh, he's got goal players on the bench. That kind of tells you that story. Um, it's a tough game, though. He's brought on a Nuha, Defoe, and I think Joe Hart. Possibly not. I'm not 100% confident on that one. But definitely Defoe and a Nuha. And um, that is going to cause us some problems with the defenders and strikers we've got. But hopefully, second half, someone will give and we'll score another worldie like we did just then with Adrian. Let's do this. Half won it because it's fallen to Jermaine Defoe. And do never turn in defence. What a horrible piece of defending from either guy. Great save with a rebound. We'll end up in the back of the net on the stroke of half time and extra time. What an absolute disaster. What an absolute disaster. Jermaine Defoe, of course. Who else was it going to be? Too hot to handle inside the box. The original shot was saved from the goalie keeper. But the rebound, as you expect, ends up in the back of the net. And now we're all up against it. Some horrible defending from me led to that. Right on the stroke of halftime and extra time. But hopefully, we can get ourselves a goal back in this game. So we could be in trouble here. And that is, in fact, halftime and extra time. We're going to go straight into it. Let's do this. It's on Adrian. Big moment in the game. Adrian running down on goal. Adrian finish it off the post. Unbelievable seed. And no, it doesn't end up in the back of the net again. Right in the 120. What the fuck? Well, the... I'm not sure what the hell just happened here. He just walked that into his own net. Unbelievable turn of events here at the game. Does he think he's going to go on a score? I'm very Archimedes confused. Defoe is still at large, though. And uh, he's looking for a goal here. And will he pull it off? We need to get this away. It's going to go to penalties because of some absolute bullshit from him. I don't know if he meant to do it because he kind of, you know, felt bad for me not scoring with two at the posts. But um, this is not an ideal situation to be in. Paladino taking a penalty, and my penalties are very bad recently. Here's a goal! Just! I need to move a cup, because it's right in the way again. Like, that keep happening to me on those shootouts. There we go, I've moved it. It's only going to go over here a little bit. Oh, good save! Big save from my goalkeeper. 
Can we manage to win this game somehow? Antonucci, score, buddy. You had a poor game. Finishes his penalty, though. Wow, intense. Tense. Joe Hart is taking his third penalty. Can you believe it? He's going to go big this way, down the middle. Poor from me, and Joe Hart has just scored a goal against me. But Adrian, the player of the episode, can he make it free and free for us? We're going the same way again, three times the same way. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. Johnny Gordon had a decent game. He looked quite lively. He's going to go down the middle again, I reckon. Oh, slightly to the left. I should have gone there. De Kegley had a poor game. Not my big choice of left mid. He'll score his penalty, though. So he's, he's come up trumps in the penalty shootout. Now he's got this guy on the goal, on the penalty even. He's going to go to the left slightly. Another good pen from him. He's scoring all right pens here. But if we can score this one, hopefully, then we may just win it. And we do right into the top corner. We've won that game. Unbelievable, though. Let's see how it all went down. Crazy game. Okay, so here is the overall stats. Now, I still can't work my head around what just happened in that game. He was a very good opponent. He felt like a type of FIFA player who was quite good. He was also very, very lucky. He kept on, like, sliding in for tackles. And it's a type of tackle where you could either get a red card or win the ball. And nine times out of ten, he won the ball. And it was very frustrating for me. I couldn't get him behind enough. He had, obviously, brought on a newer her. And it became a lot more difficult for me to get him behind. Defoe was causing my defenders problems. He had Joe Hart in the net. I hit the post, like, twice. It was just one of them weird, weird games. And then he got a late goal well just at the end of the first half and extra time but for some reason I don't know if he meant to walk it his own now I'm pretty sure he probably did I think he felt kind of bad or he was being a little bit of a dickhead and thought yeah I'll beat you on penalties and uh, walked it into his own net or he might have been just trying to <laughs> mess around with me because Adrian was kind of off the pitch and he was kind of just running around I still have no clue but it was stupid of him to do because instead of winning the game at the end there he took it to penalties 50-50 chance and he's lost on penalties so we've picked up the win a little bit crazy. I wouldn't recommend the team I've built to anybody. It was a, it was a diff interesting team. Um, Adrian was, of course, very good because of the card on him. And he's got a fantastic goal from range. Poor from his goalkeeper. But it wasn't even a shot because it was a uh, it was like a one of them X punts up field. You can't shoot from your own half, obviously. But I'm very happy with the win because we probably shouldn't have won that game. On stats alone, there, you can see that he probably deserved to win. But that wasn't the way it was. But that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you have a like, it would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you are new. Have a nice day. I'll catch you next time. And uh, bye bye. Popping Danny Sturridge while we are Randy and <laughs> I don't know why I said that but okay Danny Sturridge is of course a Liverpool player and I think I've got one in my club let's just double check am I I do indeed the Marco Royce is definitely somewhere in my club we've also got the preset ones what else are we going to get in these packs here I'm going to skip this one. Oh yes fucking get in lads we got ourselves Mario Goetzer and the Lord himself we got the Lord Ben 